What happens when you cross your polarity on your batteries accidentally, hooking that up to your inverter? Well, this is an inverter we just got in, and uh, it's a Magnum, a very, very good inverter. And as you can, I don't know if you can see this close enough, but you've got a plus sign and you've got a negative sign. Sometimes these things aren't visible for end users, perhaps. But uh, it's easy to make a mistake, and that's why it's really good to double check. You can have someone else double check before you turn, turn everything on and hook everything up. Because what happens, this is the, uh, what do they call this board again? The FET? The FET board. And it's the main board that does all the charging and stuff for the, the batteries. And uh, so we took this board off, and as you can see here, I don't know if the lighting's that good, but uh, it started to melt. This chip here, right there, started to melt. And so, of course, we have to uh, get this in for repairs. So not only does it affect the inverter's charger board, but this is the MPPT, and it's, it's a really good one. It's an outback one. And uh, this big capacitor has a hole in it. So that has to go in for repairs as well. We're going to send all this stuff in for repairs because this thing's worth 11 grand retail. It's, it's a very, very good inverter, a very expensive one, and it actually goes on to a nice casing and terminals and stuff. So we're going to get this all fixed. This board, you can buy it from Mag Magnum. It's about 700 US. So it becomes a very costly uh, item when you cross those those batteries. Now, if you move the camera over here, this inverter has a lot of new features, safety features. It has what we call cross polarity protection, and it just won't work. It'll tell you on the screen that it's cross polarity. But these inverters, which are about half the cost of this one, these ones will blow up the same way as that one did. So we've got to be careful that we don't uh, cross the polarity. This one blew up because I overloaded it. It was a thousand watts and I put 1500 on, so we have to be careful with overloading them too. So that's about it, that's a technical tip. Thanks again guys, and have a good day.